quickly for prayer. Hallelujah. The power of God is ready. It's here in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Levra Guzumbra Dari Bibia Parados. We'll just go ahead and begin to declare the blood over your life, begin to declare the blood over your destiny. Today, as you go into a place of prayer, that the Lord will begin to sustain you. Let the finger of God, let the hand of God come upon you right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, hand of Jehovah, oh, hand of the Spirit of God, rest upon me today. Begin to talk to the Lord today. Say, Lord, release a new anointing, release a new fire upon my spirit, release a new level of glory upon me. Oh, Jehovah, live pass me not oh gentle savior let your fresh fire your fresh spirit your fresh grace be upon me today open your mouth and begin to pray lord let fresh fire be upon my spirit let your fresh fire be upon my soul in the name of Jesus, right now. Ale bantele bebe kapara dori bebios. Rebe bebe 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 ashanda bahaya. Oh, libran dori bebe kabere bebe abaradi. Zonde vendere meme kaban dori bebe abaradi. Iko to zondu la bantele bebe bebe abaradi. Raba ba raba ba kashanda raba ba kazepentele bebe. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rega banto raba ba 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 kashanda de bebes. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my thank you, Spirit of God. Leve leve dele bebe kapaya, rebe be rebe be kabarando de bebios. Shida bada bara baba kabando rebe be aparadish. Rege de rebe be aparando de bebios samba haya. Ila bandele be be rebe be aparando de bebios. Rege de rebe be rebe be be rebe be aparando de bebios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zila bando robos. In Jesus' name we pray. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Even an and adore. Evil angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold, pure gold, refine as fire. My heart's warm desire is to be holy, set apart for you, my master. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, I'm ready to do your will. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Is there any way, Lord, I've sinned against you? Is there any way I've fallen short of your glory? Lord, what is it that I have done that has grieved your presence? Lord, forgive me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, wash me with your blood. Go ahead and begin to pray to the Lord now. Oh, Rebebeke Bia Brando, Rebebeka Parando Rebebia, Zaliban Deleven Delebebia Barados. Any way that I've sinned against you, any way I've grieved your presence, Father, have mercy upon me. Oh, God, show me mercy today. Librando Rababa Rebebeka Paya Brado, Rebebeke Berebebia Parando Rebebia Baradia, Zadia Bantelebebeka Bala Madoli Catuli Via Bradia, Rebebe Rebebeke Berebebia Brando Rebeboko Zebranda Rebebia. Oh, go ahead and begin to pray today. Elaban. Hallelujah. Oh, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> We're going to talk to the Lord today. I will begin to pray to God. Say, Lord, draw me nearer to you. Hallelujah. Draw me nearer to you. Draw me nearer to you. Draw me nearer to you. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead and begin to pray. Father, by your mercy, O oh God, Lord, draw me closer to you. Father, by your mercy, O God, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you ready for prayer today? You're going to ask the Lord, the Lord, is there any way that I've opened any, any doors to the attacks of the devil? Whatever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We're going to talk to God today. Lord, in any way that I've sinned against you, whatever door that has been opened to demonic attack, Father, let that door be closed now. Let that door be closed now. Let every door that I've opened to demonic attack, every door I've opened to demonic affliction and oppression in my life, Lord, close that door now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. So Rababa Rababa Kashande de Bebia Barandere Bebios. Elevante Lebe Rebebe 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 Father, release your blood over my life, release your blood over my spirit. In the name of Jesus, I close every satanic door that has been opened to demonic oppression, demonic attack. Lord, let every satanic door in my life be closed down now by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Rabba Baba Baka Sande de Bebe Beka Paya. Ribi Bia Barandor Bebe Rebebeka Paya Baradosh. Zilebantele Bebe Rebebe Rebebe Barandor Bebia Paradi. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sade Baraba Baraba Kabarandor Bebios. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout it loud, Amen. If you are about to take the devil by storm, shout Hallelujah. The way you start in this, um, the way the way you respond, I want some more aggression in your life. Hallelujah! Today is today. Today is today. Today is today. Sing this song. Feel my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven. Feel me till I want no more. Use my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this dusty of my soul. Bread 
Lord of heaven, fear me till I want no more. Here is my car, fill it up and make me own. <coughs> fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here is my cup, fill it up and make me whole. <coughs> Holy Spirit, move me now, make my life all again, Spirit move over me, Spirit move over me. Akapela Bahaya, Brandy Hiss. Sunde berande rebe bia barande rebe bios. Kalibante rebe berreba baya baradish. Lift your two hands up. Lift your two hands up. Oh, Spirit of Living God, come and fall afresh on me. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you come and welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father. Of mercy and of grace, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and of grace, Thou art welcome, you are so welcome, My Father, you are so welcome in this place. My Savior, so welcome, in this place lift your right hand of fire and say in the name of jesus i come before your throne let the counsel of the wicked against my life backfire by fire today as i begin to pray i ask that you are you give me angelic assistance let the host of heaven begin to fight for me spirit of god i come into your courtroom i celebrate you Thank you for giving me the privilege to stand before you. Thank you because I'm not destroyed. I came here to get today to testify. Lord, I give you the glory. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my life. Thank you for your blood. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Here I am to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done in my life i am so glad my soul has found rest praise god we give you thanks i say thanks thanks we give you thanks for all you have done in my life we are so glad my soul has found rest. Praise God. We give you thanks. Hallelujah. My soul doth magnify the Lord. And my spirit we praise his name. For death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave. Jesus is Lord. Even in the grave, my Jesus is Lord. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Every satanic thing designed against my life. Every demonic thing designed for my life on my family. 
as I pray. Let the, this, let the owner of the coffin enter the coffin. Open your mouth and fire your prayer. Every coffin that was designed against my life by the powers of darkness, every owner of the coffin, enter the coffin by the blood. Regede rebebe kapaya, magila bante lebebe reba bakaya. Regede rebebe kapaya, rebebe kapaya. Ilo rondo rebebe kapaya na. Regede rebebe rebebe kapaya rebebe kapaya rebebe ya. Ilo braga da reba ba rebebe kapaya rebebe ya. Mango da reba ba rebebe kapaya rebebe ya. Shada reba ba reba ba kapaya reba ba reba ba kapaya. Ilo gede rebebe rebebe kapaya rebebe ya. Oh reba ba reba ba kapaya reba ba rebebe ya. In the name of Jesus. Libra da raba ba raba ba ga bere be bia er re ga da raba ba raba ba ga bere be bia o raba ba raba ba ga bere be bia baradi in jesus name we pray amen shout this prayer loud and clear with so much efficacy in your power in your prayer in the name of jesus christ say this after me say satanic yoke of witchcraft Projected against me and my family. Break by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Regede rebebege berebebe a paradia. Mango da ban taraba ba ya bradia. Every yoke of witchcraft projected against me. I break it by the blood. Regede rebebege berebebe a paya. Mango da ban tarebebe a paradin. Regede rebebebebebe a berebebe a paya. Regede rebebebebebe a berebebe a. La brada rebebebebebe a berebebebebe a. Every yoke of witchcraft upon my life. I break it by the blood. I break it by the blood. Regede rebebebebebe a berebebe a. Mando raba ba raba ba ka ba ra bebi a ba ra di e re ke de re be be re be be re be be ka re be bi a e re ke de re be be re be be ka re be bi a i le bren de re be be ka be re be bi a ba ra di a ra ba 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 ka ba ra ba ba ra ba ba ka ba ya da e re be be re be be ka be re be bi a ba ra di in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray answer by fire answer by fire answer by fire by fire, as a by fire, as a by fire, as a by fire, oh, by fire, as a by fire. By fire, as a by fire, by fire, as a by fire, as a by fire, as a by fire, by fire, as a by fire, as a by fire, oh, as a by fire. Answer by fire, by fire. Shout this prayer loud and clear. I want you to hear me crystal clear. Crystal, crystal clear. Hallelujah. Crystal, crystal clear. Mando rababa kasunde veheldis. Say this after me. The Bible says, No weapon from the gates shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against thee in the day of judgment, they say, What that shall condemn. Whatever <coughs> made you to start this month powerfully. I'm making you to end this month in a, in, a, in a dark way. The devil is a liar. You will end this month in a beautiful, grand style way. Amen? In the last two days, hallelujah, maybe one day left, there will be an Halloween. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Say every satanic agenda. Every spell of the wicked. Every satanic conspiracy. Every curse and covenant pronounced over my life and my family. Every sorcery and divination projected against me and my family. Every spirit of the emptier Every spirit of the MTR. Aside against my finances. Every gathering of the wicked. Aside against my destiny. Beginning from today. Beginning from today, 
I scatter them by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Let the weapons of the wicked by fire. Every gate of the wicked, including against you, invading against you, in this month, let them scatter, let them scatter. <coughs> Kata brada rebebe kabayanda irregede rebebe abarandia libante rebebe rebebe kabarandia regede rebebe kabarandili shada raba rebebe kabarandia I says kata by the blood kata by fire go rebebe rebebe abarando rebebe shada brada rebebe kabayanda ilabrando rebebe abarando rebebe regede rebebe rebebe kabarando rebebe sada brada raba raba kabando rebebe abarandia Oh Jesus, Every curse be overturned, every spell, every evil decree, every witchcraft targeted against me in this month, I destroy you by the blood. Every power waiting for me at the edge of my breakthrough, I, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. In this month, I shall finish well. I shall finish well. I shall finish well. I shall finish well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Some of you are praying so weak. And the enemy has prepared tragedy against your children. Particularly, your enemy has prepared tragedy against your daughter. You're not even praying. Hallelujah. This is the time to stop it, not the time when it is the battle starts. No, stop it now. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. Every messenger of darkness assigned to afflict me or my family. Every time God wants to bless somebody, he sends somebody into your life. When the devil wants to destroy you, he also sends an agent <coughs> into your life. You're going to pray. Hallelujah. Agents of darkness. There was a man that the devil entered. His name was Judas. He, he chose him because why? He was God was he was choosing to use Peter. But the God Jesus blocked him through the powers of intercession. Blocked that spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And so Judas was without a blood. And so the devil began to use him. There are enemies, there are enemies that have made themselves available. The men enemies that have yielded themselves to the devil. Some of them can be close to you. Some of them are far away. One way or the other, the devil will bring them close to you to betray you. So you are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Every messenger of Satan assigned to afflict me or my family. Or my family. In the month of November, be arrested by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every agent of the devil, every satanic messenger, every messenger of affliction, every messenger of oppression, every messenger of witchcraft, every messenger from the pit of hell, every messenger from the gate of hell, every satanic messenger inspired by Satan, inspired by the devil, inspired by marine witchcraft, inspired by satanic powers, assigned against my life, I command you to be arrested by the blood, be arrested by fire, be arrested by fire, be arrested by fire, be arrested by fire. Arrested by fire, I subdue you by the blood. E cabran de rebebiga, catabran de rebebiga fire, lebran de rebebiga fire. I bind you by the power, I bind you by fire, I bind you by the blood, I bind you by fire. Every messenger of Satan assigned against my life, assigned against my career, assigned against my ministry, assigned against my marriage, assigned against my children, assigned against my husband, assigned against my wife, assigned against my family. I bind you, I arrest you by the blood, I arrest you by the blood, I arrest you by the blood, I neutralize your weapon.
weapons by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every network of Satan, every network, evil network, evil gatherings against me. I command the network to scatter. I command the evil network to scatter. I say scatter by fire. 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 Reggae the Rebbe Beka Paya. Libran the Rebbe Beka Paya. Reggae the Rebbe Beka Paya. Mando Rababaya. A command the Rebbe Bia. Kati Brando Rebbe Bia Paradish. Kati Brando Rebbe Bia Paradias. So Levende Le Bahaya Brandosh. Reggae the Rebbe Beka Rebbe Beka Pando Rebbe Beka Pando Reada. Levende Le Rebbe Beka Brando Rebbe Bia Paradish. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One more time, you're going to pray again. Say, every satanic veil. Every satanic veil. Every witchcraft covering. Hiding my destiny. Be destroyed by fire. Every day, let the veil of the wicked over my life. I destroy the veil by the blood. I destroy every satanic veil. Every veil projected against me. Every veil over my life. Every veil hiding my glory. Hiding my destiny. Hiding my life. I destroy you by the blood. Every satanic veil. Let the veil be set on fire. <laughs> Let the veil of the wicked, every veil, every veil over my life, every veil, Let the veil of the wicked, every veil, every veil over my life, every veil, every veil over my life, every veil, every one of the strengths of an ego is that their eyes are open and open beyond other animals. We pray to God. <laughs> Say, my physical and my spiritual eyes by fire and by the blood of Jesus. Open. Somebody say, Open. Somebody say open. Hey, Americans. I say open. He say open. Uh-uh. Hey, listen to me. I told you this before and I will share it again. At night, I was praying. 2 a.m. By the apartment. At a particular time, by the swimming pool. During summer time, long time ago. I hear you. By the time I turned to my right, I saw this big cat. White approaching me. And I laughed because I was deep in the Holy Ghost. I said, This cat want to receive fire baptism. In this country, every every animal cat is a pet. So I gathered myself together. I said, I want this cat to speak in tongues. So while I was in power in prayer, the cat was approaching me. <clears throat> and this cat came closer to me. <laughs> I just get quiet and began to watch it. Came very close. I said, Look at this cat. Want me to pet him? Today we receive fire. Fire! The thing jumped. <laughs> fire! I don't know what happened. Whether I took two steps on the water, but the thing flew. It flew. It flew. Hallelujah. If I say fire, what, what do you think the cat will do? He will smile. He will come to me. Fire, come. Fire. There's no anointing there. The Bible says that Jesus said, when he got before Lazarus, the Bible says he cried. And he said to the Lord Jesus, he said to God in a very soft voice, Father, you know every time I pray, you hear my voice. Soft voice. Then after he, after he had prayed to the Lord, he now turned to the devil. Lazarus, come forth! Hallelujah. 
that, if that if that person is snoring under what I'm talking now, it's an abuse of Christianity. If you are snoring, I'm hearing that crow crow. If you are snoring, if I catch you, if I catch you, if I catch you, Jehovah, if I catch you sleeping, Jehovah, my God, if I catch you when I'm talking about praying aggressive, you are sleeping here. You are you'll be dismissed from the army. I tell you that. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Jesus, Lord help us. Hallelujah. What you are saying, what you are you are commanding, you don't declare with what is the prayer point we are praying now? The, the what? Uh -huh. My physical and my spiritual eyes. We're going to pray with our spiritual and our physical eyes today. Hallelujah. I'm going to make sure some declarations. Hallelujah. Amen. When you make a prayer, let your words be very aggressive. Hallelujah. Except you have done 21 days, 80 days, 40 days, 50 days of fasting. Amen. That if you begin to talk very soft, the power of God responds. Some people just like my voice. It's like it puts them to sleep. Huh? Is that true? <laughs> Hey Jesus, oh man, the brother is this. Who is who is this fellow? Who is, who is this fellow? Hallelujah. Amen. You so say you're going to pray today. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. Say my physical and spiritual eyes. You will shout the word Woka. You hear that word? Uh -huh. It's like it's like a gate man at the gate. Open. That is the word say open, open. No gate man will open for you. Open, open what? You can't be aggressive. My physical and spiritual eyes. Hear the word of the Lord. Open. Open. Open by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My spiritual eyes, my spiritual ears, open, open, open by fire. My physical, my spiritual eyes, open by fire. Let my eyes be open, open by fire. Santa brother Rabba Baka Bayanda, my eyes open by fire, my eyes open by fire, Regate Rebebe Rebebe Abaradi, Shadaba, Barada Rebebe Abarados, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire, Ile Brenda Rebebe Rebebe Abaradi, Regate Rebebe Rebebe Abaradi, in Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray a strategic prayer. You will say, every home of the weekend. Wait, hold on. The reason I get quiet, I want, I want to catch a person sleeping. You, 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 amen. There are always two people that sleep in this prayer line. Always. Always two people that sleep in this prayer line, and I know them. Hallelujah! They've made a high reputation. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, 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 she, she's tired, so I have to put her to bed. I have to hang up. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Amen. So you're going to pray today. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in the Book of Zechariah, chapter one, verse seventeen. Amen. Hallelujah. My seed is true prosperity shall yet spread abroad. By prosperity, they shall yet spread abroad. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 17. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go there. 
just in case for those who like the word of God and they have not opened the scripture in a long time, let's go there again. <laughs> Somebody keeps laughing every time I talk. Is everything okay? Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17. If you are reading it, read it out. Read it out, my sister. Read it out loud. This is the prophecy that went forth. My city's year through prosperity shall yet spread abroad. <laughs> In this month of November, <laughs> my father, by prosperity, I spread abroad. By prosperity, I expand by the blood. By prosperity in my business, my ministry, I shall expand, I shall increase on every side. Are you ready for that prayer? In this month of November, my father, I expand. Every power of limitation, every power that says I will not go beyond this limit, every power that says I will not supersede the sources of my father, the sources of my mother, the sources of my family, I break that power. I shall supersede. I shall I, I create a new record, a new historic record. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Jabez cried out, Oh my father, increase me. Ah, you will pray this prayer. Lord, in this month of November, expand me by prosperity. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Expand me by prosperity. Expand me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw, behold, four arms. Some see my eyes. Some of us, we lift up our eyes and we don't see anything. We don't remember our dreams. Nothing. Why? There are, there's the existence of four horns. These are altars. For him, he was able to see. What about those who were not able to see? Powers. There are powers that can be subjected to causing you not to see. There are some powers that can be sitting in your demonic eyes, on your eyes. Imparting demonic energy. That is why we're going to pray today. Say every horn of the wicked. Oh boy. Is there any prophet on this prayer line? Can you be aggressive in your prayers? Say the Lord and clear. Every horn of the wicked. Ah, some of people, are you fasting today or what? You are acting like you are hungry or something. Give me some energy. Amen. Give me some fire, believers. Hallelujah. Every horn of the wicked. Libaro do ribibia baradia. Say horns of the wicked. Upon my eye gate. Upon my eye gate. Scatter by fire. Every horn of the wicked upon my eye gate, I command it to scatter, scatter by fire. Every horn of the wicked, scatter by the blow, scatter by fire, let the horns of the wicked, in Jesus' name we pray. Be lifted, O ye gates, and let the King of glory come in. You're going to pray this prayer. Every gate of darkness assigned against my spiritual eyes. Be lifted and be destroyed by fire. 
Every gate of hell. I say be lifted by fire. Every gate of hell. I signed against my eye gate. You go rod or I destroy you by the blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're going to declare it right now. Say every good door of opportunity. Every good door of favor. Every door that will connect me to my helpers. In this month of November, some of you pray this prayer for your children. In this month of November, what kind by fire? Every door of breakthrough, every door of glory, every door of prosperity, every door to my helpers, every divine door in this month of November, open, open, open by fire. Lord, let every good door in my life be open, open by fire. In this month of November, I access positive doors, I access great doors. Let the doors be open, let the doors be open. I access divine doors by the power in the blood. By the power in the blood, by the power in the blood. Lord, I command that every good door in my life be opened by the blood. I gain access into the next season. Let the doors of prosperity be open for me. Be open, be open, be open, be open. Open for me by, by the blood. Open to me by fire. Let the doors be open. Let the doors be open. Let the doors be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say this prayer loud and clear. You know, one of the things, one of the things that we need to understand is that when God sends an helper into your life, the devil fights all kinds of battles to stop the helper from coming. And when the helper shows up, he makes sure that the helper misses you. Even when the helper shows up, he makes sure that the assignments, every helper has an assignment from God. Every helper has a God-given assignment. It might be seasonal, it might be temporal, it might be permanent. Amen. But the enemy makes sure that the assignment be perverted. Hallelujah. Somebody say perverted. Sometimes the God will send a woman to be of a helper to a ministry and be a giver and giver. And the devil want to pervert it. And instead of the man of God to pray and preserve the lady, instead he begins to sleep with the woman. Hallelujah. That's the devil's agenda to pervert. Amen? The original plan, why God sent her. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. Sometimes the enemy does this kind of nonsense. God sent you, God sent you to be a messenger, a voice. Before you know it, you're not doing the agenda of the devil. Hallelujah. For every agenda of God, the devil too will present his curriculum. He will present his, his agenda that you may walk in. So you're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. Amen. Say, in this month of November, every messenger with divine assignment from God, sent to my life, they shall complete it by fire. This is a powerful prayer. This is a powerful prayer. This is a powerful prayer. Whether they came with the message of deliverance, 
whether they came with the message of the gospel, whether they came with the message of prosperity, whether they came with the message to, to, to it will not be procrastinated. It will, it will both be completed. Everything will be done. Hallelujah. Say this down and clear. <coughs> Hallelujah. See, every God ordained helper with divine assignment for my life, as they show up, they shall finish what God sent them to do in my life. As they show up, let the purpose and the agenda of God for my life be manifested in fullness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every helper that has been assigned to my life, every helper that has been assigned to my destiny, every helper that has been assigned in this month of November, as I meet with them, my father, let them libra. Let there be a full manifestation of the divine assignment for my life. I say in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power of witchcraft, every satanic perversion. Influencing my helpers against me. I said, Die by fire! I say die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Evil powers influencing my helper against me. Witchcraft powers, Ibra. Spirit of perversion. I say die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Every horn of Mary witchcraft over my life and my destiny, over my finances. Be shattered by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Riaka pronto rikataya. Berika tizavrakataya. El larenda rakataria pandahaya. Let the horns be shattered. I shatter every satanic horn. Every horn of death against your life. Every horn of the wicked. I break it by fire. I demolish every horn. Let the horn be destroyed. Regede regede rika barandaria. I shatter. I destroy. I demolish. I abort. Egerika rakotori kataya. Let the hands be broken. Be broken by the fire. Be broken by the blood. Every marine honor, every occultic honor, raised against my life, raised against my helper, raised against my ministry. I break the horn by fire. I destroy the horn by fire by thunder. Let the hands be shattered. I shatter every satanic horn. Reggae de bara de ribibia. Mazada baka bara de dia. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Let the horn be shattered. Let the horn be demolished. Every horn of the wicked. Or then they get my marriage. Or then they get my ministry. My career. My dream. My finances. I destroy the horn of the wicked by the blood. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. Say. Say. The favor that causes men to say yes to me. <laughs> the favor that opens all closed doors. The favor that causes my enemies to favor me. The favor that causes men to be victorious. Let that favor fall upon me by fire. Divine favor. Libran de Rebebia. The regular Rebebia Barabia. 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 The favor of divine acceptance. The regular Rebebia Barabia. The favor of divine acceptance. The favor of God. Mazula In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say the favor of God. Somebody say the favor of God. That causes men to reveal their secrets to me. The favor. That causes my employers to love me. Are you hearing the prayer? The favor that causes my enemies to reveal their secrets. The favor. <laughs> the favor that causes my employers to do me good. The favor that causes a man to be restored from what he has lost. We are praying the favor for restoration. We are praying the favor with your employers. We are praying the favor to know secrets. Are you hearing me today? Hallelujah. <laughs> when this favor comes upon you, people start telling you some things that you don't need to know. They come to your job, they start telling you the intention of their boss. Just open their mouth without, without you asking. Are you hearing me? Sometimes their boss will come and start telling you some things. And you'll be shocked. Why are they telling me? It's the favor of God. <laughs> it's a favor. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Say the favor that causes my employers to reveal secrets to me. The favor that causes divine restoration in my life. Fall upon me by fire. Lord, let your favor be upon me today. Sudden favor, sudden favor. The favor that causes men to stand out. The favor that causes men to be honorable. 
Father, brother, Rebebi Abradia, let your favor brand Rebebia, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says that Joseph had favor with Potiphar's Potiphar. From there, he went to the prison. Favor, he had favor with those who were in charge in the prison. That that could not, neither could he lift him up. He needed the favor though to sustain him. But there was another favor that changed his whole entire life. It was when he got before the king. Amen? Amen. He got before the king. Somebody referred him before the king. And he had unusual favor before the king. You're going to pray today. Hmm. Father, that very king you've ordained to change my situation forever. Whether you like it or not, there is a man that God has ordained to change your life forever. Father, you're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. See, every king ordained to change my life forever. Connect me by your favor. Every king is ordained to change my life forever. By your favor, let me be connected to him. Open your heart and fire prayer. Connect me by your favor. Connect me by your favor. There is a favor. There is a favor. In this month of November, kings in high places, my father, connect me to them by your blood. Connect me to them by favor. By favor, by favor. Special divine favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The way you are praying this prayer, amen. Amen. You are praying this prayer, sitting down, you are praying this prayer, I don't know if this help, it will help you. But, if you really want your children to be accepted by great people, you got to pray this prayer. There's no ways about it. There's no ways about it. This is the prayers that changes. If your children are touched, you'll be touched. Joseph the, the, the Jacob, listen to me. Jacob suffered a lot. His wife died. The one he loved. The devil gave him the one that was ugly. He wasn't happy with that woman. That woman gave him children. Children that were trying to kill the very one that would bring wealth in the whole family. He was he was he was he was angry. He was he didn't like it. Hallelujah. Upset. But something happened. Something happened. That very Joseph, he began to pray. He began to pray. He began to pray. He was the one that brought that brought the reward of Jacob. Hallelujah. Can I? Hallelujah. That was the man, Jacob. He was the one. Just Joseph was the one that brought smiles to Jacob. Jacob was able to see his reward before he died. Before then, he has been fighting one war or the other. Before then, he has received the Father's blessing. But he never really saw the blessing manifest. There was no rest in his life. There was suffering on every side. The whole Jacob, who was wealthy, like a Isaiah, I'm like Isaac. The Bible says he was in the land of the famine. He was dwelling in the place of famine. No prosperity, no wealth. How can a whole man that is called Israel suffering in poverty? It's because why? Your son is in captivity. You might be suffering now. One of your child has been ordained for prosperity. One of your child, one of them, one of them. And if you don't pray this prayer, you pray like last Sadekli. You, 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 <laughs> help us with bypass your, your children. When, when Joseph was going through sufferings, Jacob did not know that this will be the one to change his whole entire life. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure Joseph was almost more blessed. Even more than Isaac. 
I'm sure. I'm sure. Because you managed the whole wealth of Egypt. Hallelujah. You're going to pray this prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, The favor that connects me to kings in high places. Right. Is anybody really want to pray this prayer? He wants us to go home now. Hallelujah. Because it's a serious prayer. It's a serious prayer. Amen. Okay, just shout this prayer loud and clear. God just told me something. Say kingly favor. Yeah, somebody's upset with me on the prayer line. I say kingly favor. The way you are responding, like you're upset, <laughs> Jesus. Uh huh, like that. Say kingly favor. The way you, this kingly favor comes upon you, it attracts holy kings, it attracts leaders. They just like you. Are you hearing me? They just like you for one reason or the other. They like you. <laughs> Somebody's about to receive this one. <laughs> I see your daughter, it's about to be crowned. <laughs> Lebron goes. Say kingly favor from the Almighty. Fall upon me and my children. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Let the kingly favor. Let the kingly favor of God. <coughs> Fall upon me by fire. Almighty God. Crown me with kingly favor. Crown me with kingly favor. Crown me with the kingly favor. The kingly favor of God. He has caused him to ride on the high places of the earth. The favor of God. Let the kingly favor of God fall upon me by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Kadi brother Bayanda. Kingly favor. Kingly favor. Fall upon me by your fire. Mando rababa rebebi abaradish. E la bada lebebi abaradish. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Some of us don't understand that prayer. But we're going to pray that prayer again. But when you pray, you pray this prayer, pray this prayer with sweat. The Bible says in, in, in Isaiah chapter 45, some of us are well connected to great people. We know so many great people, but they can't do anything to us. Why? Because we're not praying the right prayers. Isaiah chapter 45, it says in verse 1, Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said what? Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding, he said what? Whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. Who is Cyrus? Cyrus is a king. God has released a kingly anointing upon him. A kingly favor. He says, Thus says the Lord to, the, and to his anointed and to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. I will lose the loins of kings to open. That's what happens. When the favor of God comes upon you, he, call, he loses the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates and, to, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of the brass and cut in asunder the bars of iron. Look at what it says in verse 3. This is a kingly... Listen to me. I have been praying today. The only message I got from Elohim. Amen. The rest has been a gift. But the one I received today from the Lord is that what? The, the Lord whispered to me in my ears. He said what? The kingly favor. They are kingly favor. I was just praying all kinds of prayers. And I was just wondering, okay, how do I rephrase this prayer? And I heard the Lord, kingly favor. Thank you, Lord. Verse 3. 
This is what kingly favor does. It says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of the secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, call thee by the name. I am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, this is God. This is God. This is the word of the Lord. When a kingly favor comes upon you, Jesus, he will lose the loins of kings for your sake. Hallelujah. That's what happened to Joseph. He had a kingly favor. It wasn't men that was favoring him. It wasn't enemies that was he, he triumphed over enemies. God gave him a signet ring. Kingly favor. He will shout his prayer than clear. <laughs> In this month of November, my father, crown me with your kingly favor. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Crown me and my family with your kingly favor. Ragada rebebe, a parandori baby. Zelebre bebe rebebe, a baby. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Lord, crown me, O God. Ragada rebebe, a baby. My father, my father. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Let me be crowned with your kingly favor. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Ragada rebebe, a baby. Let me be crowned with your kingly favor. Let me, my children, be crowned. Crown me with kingly favor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout amen, amen, amen. What a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing. Hallelujah. Oof. God is an awesome God. An awesome God. An awesome God. Awesome God. I thank God for his love and his glory. Thank God for that, for who he is. He's a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Praises to the Holy Name. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get something out today. Let's see if we can get something today. Just a little something little. Oh boy. Oof. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Everyone, God bless you for dialing with us, joining us today. Hallelujah. You are lifted. You are blessed. Amen. I want to share something with you very, very quick. Mm. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Somebody said the book of Jonah. Jonah. Somebody said Jonah. Somebody say, Joe now. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Okay, we read. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amita, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and I cry against it, for the wickedness is come before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Stashish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa. He found a ship going to Tashish, so he paid the fare thereof and went down to it, down into it, and go, to go with them unto Tashish from the presence of God. Hallelujah. From the presence of God. Spirit of God, I pray you brood over this message. I pray that, Lord, you minister to us in a great and powerful way. Father, we thank you for what an introduction of mysteries of God. Let it be unveiled before us. Everyone we are here to receive from you. I beg of you, Papa, Lord, rain upon us fresh manna from above. Feed us like never before. Let hidden mysteries cause our eyes to behold hidden mysteries within your world. Set us on fire. Lord, stir up your world. Provoke your world in our lives that we may live and perform that which you have spoken in our lives. Let us be doers of your world. Father, in the name of Jesus, stir us up. Let the fear of God brood over us today. I ask that, Lord, you will empower, you will anoint, you will set us on fire as we listen to you today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tashish from the presence of God and went down to Joppa. He found a ship going down to Tashish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it. It's almost funny that every time we've been talking now, we've been hearing the word down, down, going down, going down, going down, 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 down. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tashish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. He found a ship going down to Tashish, going to Tashish. So he paid the fare thereof, went down to it, and going with them unto Tashish from the presence of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord sent a great wind into the sea. The Lord sent a great wind into the sea. Hallelujah. Huh. There are many times that God allows the storm, the wings, the afflictions to come our way. Amen. Some of us, we can look this and rephrase this and say, you know what? God was the one that sent it. Yes, he was the one that sent it, but he wasn't the one that provoked it. Sometimes the, uh, the devil is always wanting to destroy his servants. And so the, every time God has, they have to take permission from God. And God has to approve on that. Hallelujah. And this time God allowed it. God allowed it. You know, so when we look at this, we just say God allowed it. He allowed the great wind to come to shake this man. Why? Because this man had a business mindset. This man was going to Tashish. This man was fleeing. The word of the Lord came to him. He says, go down to Nineveh that great city cry against their wickedness and this man stood up and says you know what i'm going to another city he paid for a fare and began to go many times in life god has spoken to us a divine place god has spoken to us where we should go god has spoken a divine or ordained place for, from the most high every time god will speak every time god will instruct us to go to a particular place provisions has been made available amen somebody said provisions has been made every um springtime between april the month of April. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful time. I found myself in the Cape Town, South Africa. And I saw this man with a whistle. And the whole place was crowded. They call it Whale Festival. This guy began to blow the whistle. And all the whales began to dance in the water. Some of them come from different nations. Amen. Different nations around the world. They come there to brood, to be intimate. Sometimes to give back. Hallelujah. The whales. Hallelujah. There is a season. So, but when they come there, they come there because there is nutrition in that area. Now, what am I going? Where am I going to? Every time God has assigned you in your place that God has assigned you to, there is there is an in your place there is always an allocation of blessings. Every time God releases you to where He has ordained for you, there is a special grace that God has given to your life. If you find your place self that you are struggling in the place, if you find your place there is a strong wind strong storm and every time you are fighting and fighting and fighting it's an evidence that you need to leave jericho it's an evidence you're in the place of jericho that you need to find your place of goshen in the place of goshen you find rest in the place of goshen you begin to see your enemies defeated while you reign in your camp hallelujah i prophesy to you today in this month of november god will swiftly move you relocate you into your goshen some people's goshen can be the wilderness the bible says jesus the spirit of god drove jesus into the wilderness he was driven into the wilderness i don't know your own case i don't know what is happening to you i don't know who is driving you hallelujah but don't get stuck where you are don't get stuck where you are hallelujah there is a place that god has ordained the bible says that god took abraham abraham was about to slaughter he said there is a place called there there is a place God there. He turned right and he saw this animal. This animal he had to sacrifice. God says, wait. There is a place called there for you. There is a place of provision. And you must locate it. If you are in a place of where God has says, move away from there. You will always find a storm released against your life. This was a man who spent time in God. God has spoken already. But he went forth from his presence. Went down from his presence. Began to go away from his presence. And there, there about he began to see challenges of position or resistance. He was a man that walked with God. He was a man that had the counsel of God. Some of you have heard the counsels of God. Some of you have heard the word of God. Some of you, God has spoken to you and you, be, you, are, you are being misled. Some of you don't want to go to the right place. You are, being, you, are, you are delaying yourself. The Bible says the Spirit of God drove Jesus into the wilderness. And through suffering, Jesus was brought to obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes if you begin to wrestle and be stubborn towards what God is saying or telling us to do, hallelujah, we will see some, we will see some resistance or some challenges and God will, will literally begin to oppose and to resist us. Amen. I have seen several times that once for me, many times when I am doing some things for people, amen, hallelujah, and the Lord did not command me to do it, hallelujah, I see some real, real, great resistance. It's time to work with God. Somebody says it's time to work with God. 
Hallelujah. It's time to begin to hear the voice of God. It's time to be directed by His Spirit. It's time to be led by the Father in everything that you do. Hallelujah. So in this season, you must really fine tune yourself to God and say, Lord, is there any way I've disobeyed you? Is there any way I've rebelled? There is always instructions that has been released into our lives. When we obey, you, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you disobey and you're not willing, hallelujah, you will not eat the good of the land, you will be thrown. You will be thrown into captivity. Hallelujah. So a great fish took him. Marine powers swallowed this man, this prophet. Hallelujah. When he saw the marine powers, he was almost dying. He cried from the belly. God made sure that his life was preserved, but he made sure and told him, outside of my will is hell. Outside of my will, outside of my purpose is hell. I don't know why you are jumping away from my will. I told you, go down to this city, but you are saying no. Amen. Hallelujah. So when he allowed this man to do that, but he was thrown into the sea. And in the midst of the sea, everywhere this guy went to, everywhere Jonah went to, there was trouble. He went with friends, no favor. Trouble. Everything. There was storm everywhere. It looks like as if the, the tornado was following him. Everywhere he went, there was trouble. Hallelujah. Because why? He delayed the will of the Lord. He was prevented from doing the will of the Lord. He didn't want to do the will of the Lord. Hallelujah. There are some of us on this prayer line, some of you, and I'm speaking to you now, you are not you are looking at somebody as the the that that message is for them it's of you to say yes it's of you to examine your heart and say lord i need to be changed some of you are looking and say okay maybe it's that person maybe it's that person maybe it's talking about that person no i'm talking about you you somebody say you you must examine your heart hallelujah pharisee pharisee they are the word pharisee means they are far to see they like to they don't see themselves they like to see other people in trouble they like to see, they like to point figures. Okay, you this, okay, you that. Okay, you this, okay, you did that. You need to repent of this, you need to repent of that. But when a message is brought to them that they need to repent, they don't like the message. And now, I've heard, I've heard. But they like to give that message. It's a Pharisee spirit. A Pharisee spirit. The other one is called Sadducee. Sadducee, they always, everything they see is wrong, wrong, wrong. They never see anything positive. Amen? Hallelujah, they see from far. So they don't see anything positive. They always see the wrong things, the wrong things. Those, those, those are the things that catch the eyes. Are you a Pharisee in this season? Are you a, are you a Sadducee? In the name of Jesus, I command you to be released from that of, from that religious spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you see, this guy was willing, but he was not willing. Hallelujah. He was willing to work with God, but he was not willing to do what God asked him to do. Hallelujah. And you see, he found himself in so serious danger. Hallelujah. He went into a boat. That boat was brought him to captivity. He went down. The more he went, the more he brought him down, 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 away from God's presence. Hallelujah. Some of the things that God will instruct you through a man of God. Some of you just get upset. You get offended. You don't want to even stay in it. You don't want to even listen to him anymore. You depart. You leave the prayer line. You go to another prayer line. And the moment you do that, you start going down and down. Some of times you think you experience favor. No. You got to do the first thing that God asks you to do. And God uses prophets as ministers. So sometimes... We are so close to ministers, or pastors, whatever it is, and we get up, we, we take their words personally. Instead of us to take it as the Holy Spirit speaking to them. Hallelujah. Even after you've left them, that's what I do. If somebody speaks to me and I get provoked, I leave their presence, I we evaluate what they've said. And I say, maybe they are right. Maybe they're right. And maybe I'm blinded by my own arrogance and pride. And I tend to now repent, come back again. Hallelujah. But many people don't have that chance. They don't have that chance. Once they correct, they just go their own way, seclude and seclusion and everything, and they become their own prophets. Hallelujah. The Bible says he went down. This guy went down, refused to listen to the word of God. And they kept doing, kept doing. There was something that amazed me. If you study the book of uh, Genesis, amen, something amazed me in the book of Genesis. It, 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 the Bible says that God spoke to Cain. There's a wickedness in your heart that you're about to do. This guy ignored God. God was speaking clearly. He ignored God and he went on to carry his wickedness towards Abel. I read that I was shocked. You mean God was speaking to him? Cain, Cain, Cain. He never listened. Amen. When you walk out of God's presence, the next thing that you do will always bring a curse on your life. The next thing that you do will always bring. I've I've spoken to several people, amen. Sp several people who are very close to me. And and when they are very close to me, ministry, ministry wise, they receive my counsel, they receive what the Lord is saying. Amen. And when I want to tell them this is what the Lord is saying. Don't do this. Some of them get offended. Some of them don't talk to me. They don't pick up my call anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. After about one month, they call back. By the time they call back, so many tragedies have happened in their life. So many wars. So many things. And they say, well, Pastor, do you cost me? And it costs you. God is the one that sees how you honor the men of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sees how you value the word of God. And when you value the word of God in the men of God, amen. Hallelujah. God will show himself. 
How can a woman come before a great man of God in Nigeria? The woman is a beautiful woman, very, very beautiful. Amen. Miss Lagos, uh, she was going to this Mr. Walton. The man of God, um, the reputable man of God of Mountain of Fire, told her, I said, you need to repent, you need to give your life. Oh, no, I will not repent. This is Jesus. You are mocking the man of God right there. And you think that God will sustain your beauty. Amen. It so happened, years later, somebody poured acid on her face. A poor acid on her face. And she lost her beauty. Why? Because she disdained God. You cannot stand before a servant of God. Whether you don't know him, whether you know him, it does not matter. And you disdain. An angel of the Lord will be so provoked that you do that, that you disrespect a man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible is anointed. As long as he carries the anointing of the Lord, fear and respect the office. Hallelujah. Somebody say fear and respect the office. We are not trying to emphasize. We say priests are different from members. Members are different. Hallelujah. Amen. So, for you to be blessed, there are their ways and their ways for you to receive the blessings. Hannah had no way, no, no time for diplomacy. She came into the temple. She was praying. She needed a, a somewhere. And she cried to Eli to support her in prayer. Amen. And the priest just said a word of prayer for her. She went home and was blessed. God fruitful. Came back with child. She was been complaining. She had no time to be walking around, talking around, be kinder. No, 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 no. Now, in this season of November, God is about to bear something new in the body of Christ. Something fresh. Something glorious. God is about to impart our destiny like never before. I want you to get ready. We, we heard about October, October, October. How many of you know that October was powerful? October was a very beautiful month. Now, in the next, on the 5th, will be our fasting, the finishing of our fast. I beg of you, if you never fasted before, beginning from today tomorrow be very ferocious amen be very brutal in your prayers oh be very brutal in your prayers amen be very very brutal in your prayers because there are ancient spirits of from evil from the second heaven that are invading the earth because of this halloween time amen because of this halloween time we need to pray and pray heavily hallelujah we're going to pray to god today hallelujah now this man that is one of the things we're going to do. The Bible says he went down to what? To Tashish. He left God's presence in the month of November. November 10th, 11th, and the 12th. It will be a time that destinies will be changed. It will be a time that the Lord is requiring me to go into a deep intercession for many of you. Many of you. Deep, deep intercession for many of you. And so, if you are coming for this trip to New York, please call me. Let me know your situation before you get there. So that, you know, it's good to be prophetic, to know a few things. But when you are trying to hear from the Lord, for all, for everyone there, you, you you get to hear in summary. So please, if you if, if, if you are coming for this trip, call me. Let me know your situations. So that by the time I come, by the time I meet you one-on-one, -on -one, I'm able to pray for you deeply and intently. Amen. God will rescue you from the deep waters. Hallelujah. And particularly, God is going to wash some of your feet. Some of your feet will be bathed in oil. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring an oil and pray on it. And the Lord is going to consecrate this oil to remove anything that is causing your feet to be in the path of darkness. God will place your feet in the high places of the earth. He has caused me to ride on the high places of the earth. You will begin to locate the secret treasures of darkness. You will begin to come, be connected to great relationships. You will walk out of anything that will bring you down. As Jonah began to walk down and down and down and down, that spirit of going down, going to wrong places, going to wrong places, going to bondages, going to afflictions, walking in the steps of your father's house, walking in the steps of your mother's house, we cast that power in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of bondage and affliction, that evil chains that has been tied to your feet, that you must locate the wrong places, locate bondages, oppressions, we break such powers in the name of Jesus Christ. I say today, that day when we begin to pray, we're going to strip up every negative chains in the name of Jesus. God willing, God help us. We shall do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Amen. This is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome time in God's presence. The glory of the Lord will be made manifest. Amen. Powerful and powerful way. Amen. I believe that some of you have to bring some tissue paper and weep because the presence of God is going to be. Whew. Hallelujah. We're going to anoint fresh oil. We're going to get our t shirts. Amen. We have t shirts already. Amen. On Saturday, it's going to be the time whereby we're going to do some serious uh, consecration. Your feet are going to be deep in the oil. Oh, I'm so happy and excited for that. Because every time we do that, there's always a changing of prosperity. There's always a release of prosperity, a release of jubilee that happens. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. 
So this is what happened to Jonah. Amen. And very soon, Jonah began to cry from the bottom. He began to pray. You see, God gave him a second chance. It's always beautiful that when God, God always chastises those he loves. Hallelujah. I remember at the time Jordan. I remember River Jordan. People talk about River Jordan. And when I was taken to River Jordan, the moment it was my turn, and Benny Hinn placed me in the water, something switched. I don't know what happened. Something switched. It was like a light came on in my life. When I came out of the water, I begin to experience open doors. I call upon God and God comes down easily. I'm telling some of you, you need to prepare yourself and go to Israel. I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying this. Some of you, before the door is closed, prepare yourself so you can go to Israel. And if your team is going to Jordan, go be baptized in Jordan. Hallelujah. Go be baptized in Jordan. Hallelujah. And you will experience great grace. Great grace. Hallelujah. 2009 was where I was baptized in River Jordan by Benny Hinn. And I tell you, man, it's been different. Why do I might say this? Same experience that I had. You will have greater experience when I, when we bait your feet in oil. From the 10th to the 12th. The Spirit of God will overshadow you and brood over you. Amen. I see the scrolls of heaven being opened now. Hallelujah. And one of the things, amen, hallelujah, we see right now is that Jonah, Jonah, Jonah began to experience something that was something that has never happened between before. Hallelujah. Look at what it says. Look at what it says in verse, uh, verse 5. Then the mariners. We are afraid and cried every man unto his God. And cast from forth from the, the ways that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it to them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship. He lay down and was fast asleep. Can you imagine? The man was fast asleep. And the whole world was turning upside down. It means that this man was a serious prophet. But he feared Nineveh because they had great wickedness and stubbornness and rebellion. I will not be surprised that great prophets who have gone to Nineveh were arrested. Why we, why would Jonah be so scared to go to that great city? Why would Jonah prefer to go to a wrong place and sleep? He went down to sleep and God shook it out, shook it up, shook it up. Hallelujah. And so the shipmaster came to him and said all to him, What means thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so, be the God we think upon us that we perish not. Verse 7. They said everyone to his fellow, Come, let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. I'm sure Jonah began to laugh. <laughs> he said, God has got me. <laughs> you cannot hide. You can't run from God's presence. And God said, Son, you belong to me. <laughs> and you see, sometimes some of you are running left and right. Running left and right. God will not let you rest. You run to your husband. You run to this person. You run to God will not let you rest. He's shaking you to you obey God. To you obey God. Somebody say you must obey God. Hallelujah. God will literally will shake everything that is good. Shake your finances. Aha. Uh -huh. To you obey God. To you obey God. Hallelujah. And when Jonah finally revealed the secret that he was a man of God, he was a Jewish man. They looked at him. Say, what can we do? Say, throw me to the sea. Just throw me to the sea. Because the man, the man, how can a man say throw me to the sea? Something was wrong. It means that he knew God so much. He had so much of God's presence. God had carried him before. So he, he, he wasn't scared. This is the first time I'm seeing a prophet say, throw me to the sea. Hallelujah. Just Satan cast, told Jesus, cast yourself. Cast yourself from the mountain. Just throw yourself. And angels will catch you. This guy is now saying to them, he says what? Throw me. Just throw me. Throw me into the sea. Hallelujah. So they took Job Jonah, cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from raging. Can you imagine? Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Wow. So from that day, they knew that God Jehovah is the Lord of hosts. So they all repented. The Bible said the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered the sacrifice unto God, really, and made vows to him. Wow. And the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly for three days and three nights. What was compulsory for this man to go into compulsory fast? God had to do something to shake this man, to release a fear of the Lord. 
The fear of God so hit him that he got so scared, so terrified in the belly of the fish. Verse 1 in chapter 2. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the fish belly. Of course he must pray. All this time he didn't want to pray. He wanted to run away from God's presence. After God dealt with him and said, I cried by reason of my affliction. How I many of you are crying by the reason of your affliction? If God continues to prosper you, you sure you guys will not pray. He said, I cried by the reason of my affliction and he heard me out of the belly of hell. I cried. Thou heardest my voice. You know, in the belly of the fish, there is bad odor. In the belly of the fish is, 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 is the gases. In the belly of the fish, there are a lot of chemicals and grasses. In the belly of the fish are some dead fish also too with him. So the smell is unbearable, horrible. And this was what happened to Jonah. Jonah was just like, oh my goodness, it's better to be living on the land. And the Lord said unto you, repent. Unto you do what I've asked you to do. You will not be delivered from this nonsense. And that's what's happening to some of us. Some of us are going through some dejected situation. Some of us are among the worst situations. Why? Because we have chosen to not obey God or refuse His instructions. Hallelujah. You must revisit what God is asking you to do because in thy doing, there is prosperity. In thy doing is the pleasures of God. In thy doing is the rest of God. In the, with thy willing and obedience, you will eat the good of the land. Amen. But this guy Jonah is eating the bad of the land. Amen. Hallelujah. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. Whatever was making him to backslide by the power in the blood, whatever is making you to backslide, we break such power in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he cried, he cried, he cried. Look at what it says in uh, verse 6. I went down to the bottom of the mountains, the earth with Habas was about me for her. Yet hast thou brought up me up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord. My prayer came in unto thee, into the holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that which I vow. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto the fish, and it vomited Jonah out of the land. Look at what it says. The last one that we need, we need to observe. <sighs> Verse 7. When, the, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. When the, my soul fainted within me, he said, I remembered what? The Lord. And look at what it says beautifully. It says what? I remember the Lord. And my prayer came in unto thee in thy holy temple. Hallelujah. There was something that happened. And they that observe lying tongues forsake their own. It says what? Look at what it says in verse 9. This is the last thing that he did. I, but I will sacrifice unto thee the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that which I have vowed. What is the vow you've made before the Lord? Amen. Some things doesn't just give up. For you to come out from your deep situations, you must pay your vows. You must make a vow before the Lord. Sometimes vow, any prayer does not answer to everything. Amen. Not that to sacrifice. But the greatest thing that answers to everything is a vow. If, if, if prayer does not open the door, try vow. When a man begins to make a vow before the Lord, say, Lord, Lord, if you will do such and such and such, I determine to win the gospel, to win, to bring 100,000 souls to the gospel. I vow in the next five years, I will bring 100,000 to, to the gospel. When you make such a vow, God will hold your ransom. Lord, I make a vow that if you will bless me financially beyond my wildest dream, by the end of next year, from now to the end of next year, I shall bring $100,000 to the gospel. I make this vow. If you will change my life around, that is a vow. That is a vow. That is a vow. When you make your vow, God will meet the vow and he will demand the vow from you. So here, Jonah began to cry out, Lord, if you rescue me, I will meet my vow. I will go and preach the gospel. I will preach unceasingly. I will preach fearlessly. I will preach without holding back. I will preach with all of my might. Amen? And the Bible says that that changed the realm of his ministry because he had an encounter with God in the fish of the belly. So by the time he went to go and preach to Nineveh, oh boy, the Bible says the whole city, including the king to the dog, all of them repented. All of them fasted. Why? Because the word of God was so strong because he had been hell visited him. When God shakes you, when God shakes the fabric of your being, 
nobody will tell you to live a holy life because it, it is a compulsory, it's a must to live that life of consecration. Amen? Hallelujah. It's a must, it's a compulsory for you to live what the life of what consecration, the life of what purity. Hallelujah. And this is what happened to him. This guy was so affected, affected, amen, that he could, he was not ready to do anything God wanted him to do. He was tired of the, the smell of the fish. He needed to live a life of holiness. Hallelujah. I pray for you today that whoever is running from the call of God, either it be your children or your husband or who you are, that is departed from his presence. Listen to me. Outside of God's presence is affliction. Outside of God's presence is oppression. Outside of God's presence is, 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 is demotion. It is depression. But in the name of Jesus, we return you back to his covenant. We return you back to the presence of God. We return you by his blood under the shadow of the Almighty. I decree that you will not leave that secret place of the Lord. What gets you out of his presence? Anger. Anger. Amen. Anger. Somebody say anger. Anger will take a man, amen, hallelujah, from the place of honor with God, from a place of God's presence. We take a man from that place and bring you to a place of the flesh. Anger. Anger. The next thing is what? Sexual immorality. Amen. Somebody say sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is, is a spirit that causes you to be relocated spiritually. Yes, there are locations in the realm of the spirit, valleys or mountains. When your man begins to commit adultery, fornication, amen, you are relocated to the valley, from the mountain to the valley. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So when you begin to see these things manifest in your life, amen, it is time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Hallelujah. There are forces that can relocate you. The powers of the father's house, the mother's house, amen, that can influence a man from the mountain to the valley. I pray for you. Whatsoever is influencing you, changing you, whatsoever is making you to go away from the path of God, today we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that every satanic invitation that is inviting you from the high places to the lower places, let such forces be scattered and abolished in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that. I decree the strength of you. I decree the favor of God upon your life. I decree the healing power upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. We have come to the conclusion of this message. I pray that God will begin to change and impart your destiny. I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you, will brood over you. In Jesus' name. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him honor. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. I know you are blessed. You are wonderful. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God will begin to re release the peace of God, release His aroma, release His grace upon you in Jesus' name. How many of you, you continue to keep us in prayer, continue to keep me lifted, that God will continue to abound upon Him more grace. Amen. How many of you have bought your tickets? How many of you have bought your tickets? I hear some of you are coming. I know some of you are coming by train. Some of you are flying. Hallelujah. May the Lord, I pray for those who want to come and who are those who don't have provision. Father, let the doors be open for them in the name of Jesus. I pray supernaturally that provisions will be made for them now. Let money from unknown sources be released from them, released to them in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree by the power of the blood, let your soul be rescued from the fish. As God rose through Jonah from the fish, I decree every fish that is holding your glory, every fish that is holding your destiny, by the power of the blood, let the fish vomit you. 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 Be released by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout a good amen, amen, and give a good shout and says, I am favored. Amen. Amen. Say, I am favored. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. We will talk again, all right? Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Almost 7 o'clock. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Any quick question before we go? Any quick question before we go? All right. We are still engaging our fast all through this week. Get ready. On the 5th is the last day. Please, I beg of you, if you've never partaken of this fast, Get at least, amen. Get at least, partake in this fast. Get ready, amen. Hallelujah. It's just till six o'clock. Hallelujah. Just till six, just till six o'clock, amen. And you can resume back to your food. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You are loved. I decree and I prophesy that the wall of fire be around you. May your joy be full in the name of Jesus. I decree every attempt of the devil to relocate you from the place of blessing. Such powers are broken and frustrated in the name of Jesus. I decree that the counsel of the wicked against your life shall be silenced forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic emotional manipulation over your life, I break it, I cancel it. I decree you are blessed. You are the beloved. You are, you are going out and coming in and is blessed. Everything you touch, touch is blessed. May the anointing of the Lord come upon you. May he not run dry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. We got to go. Hallelujah. Love you. Bye bye now. Blessings. Bye bye now. Love you now. Bye bye. Blessings.